Welcome to Magnate Mindsets. Today, we will be talking about a con man who sold the Ritz Hotel in London and guess what he was not even the owner of this hotel. Anthony Lee, a penniless lorry driver from Yorkshire, made headlines in 2010 when he was sentenced to five years in prison for defrauding wealthy property developers in an elaborate scam involving one of London's most luxurious hotels, the Ritz. Lee had no experience in property sales, but he managed to convince buyers that he could sell the Ritz Hotel for a bargain price of £250 million, which was £350 million less than its actual value. His audacious attempt got so far that he was able to extract a £1 million deposit from the buyers he had lined up for the London landmark. However, it was later revealed that Lee had never completed a property sale in his life. Lee's plan, which he called Project Notting Hill, began in 2006 when he contacted Karen McGuire, a director of PropertySource.com, a company specializing in finding properties for private clients. Lee claimed he was a close friend and associate of the reclusive billionaire brothers, Sir Frederick and Sir David Barclay, the owners of the prestigious hotel in London's Piccadilly district, and that he planned to buy the Ritz for £200 million. He said he wanted to sell the hotel for a profit of £50 million and promised to split the proceeds with Maguire if she found a buyer. Unaware that the Barclays had never heard of Lee and were unaware he was claiming to be able to sell the hotel, Ms. Maguire put Lee in contact with Terence Collins, a London-based property developer who agreed to buy the hotel for £250 million and planned to sell it to Marcel Bocorn, a property magnate. Lee then demanded a £1 million deposit from the investors. When the money was paid into an Irish bank account in Lee's name, the deal hit a snag. Lee claimed he had accepted a better offer of £470 million for the hotel, but as the deposit was non-returnable, he kept the £1 million and claimed it was money that Mr. Collins owed him for unrelated property deals. Lee, an undischarged bankrupt with a police caution for theft and behind with his rent at the time of the scam, was found guilty of obtaining the £1 million by deception. Judge Stephen Robbins described Lee's scam as elaborate and outrageous and said he was motivated by his mistaken belief that Terry Collins had deprived him of another potentially lucrative property deal. Lee was found guilty of fraud and sentenced to five years in prison. Despite his deception, Lee might never have come before the criminal courts had it not been for a high court judge and a particularly determined detective. After being stung by Lee, Mr. Collins sued him and won. The High Court judge said the case amounted to fraud and should be criminally investigated. It was referred to North Yorkshire Police, where Detective Sergeant Gary Riddler worked on the case alone. He was at Southwark Crown Court to see Lee sentenced. Lee's case shows the sheer size and scale of deception that some people are willing to engage in to make a profit, even at the cost of their own reputation and the trust of others. It also underscores the importance of due diligence and caution when making large investments, especially in deals that seem too good to be true. Thank you for watching the video. Let me know in the comments section if you liked today's video. Subscribe to my channel, Magnate Mindsets.